A lot of people dealing with small fiber peripheral neuropathy report having two main types of symptoms. So number one, we have positive symptoms, and number two would be negative symptoms. So what does that mean? Positive symptoms are sensations that are exaggerated, so they're hypersensitive. And one of the main ones that people will feel is a sensation of burning. Usually in small fiber neuropathies, they tend to be length dependent, meaning they're gonna start at the bottoms of your feet, move their way up. When they hit knee level, you start to get them in your hands as well. So in that burning sensation, we have increased sensitivity of those small fibers or C fibers. And C fibers are really good at sensing pain and they're really good at sensing temperature. So a lot of times we can start to pick up on those things even before the positive symptoms come. Usually what people will experience first are negative symptoms where we start to lose sensations. And the ones we tend to lose will be pinprick or pain sensations. We use pinwheel or little sharps like toothpicks to be able to see if people can sense the, the feeling in their legs. And then the other thing they'll tend to lose is the sensation of temperature, and that'll be both warm and cold temperature. And a lot of times those will show up before the positive symptoms where people become hypersensitive. Now, the caveat to that is some small fiber neuropathies aren't necessarily length dependent. We see these more in like diabetic neuropathy is the most common one. Medication or chemotherapy also tends to produce these kind. Other kinds, like when we see Guillain-Barre, we saw a lot of these here recently with different infections, they can cause more of a patchy type of a neuropathy that kind of looks like Swiss cheese where a mouse is chewing on the nerves in different places and it looks more patchy. And in these cases, we'll see they develop a little bit differently. And some Sometimes when we look at infection types, they can have burning as one of the early features of that, more so than you'll see in like a diabetic neuropathy. So hope that's helpful.